Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfellas Sports TV got some rumors on Canelo Alvarez next fight and how much he could be making. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And Canelo Alvarez is supposed to announce Tuesday, and things can change. And I'm going to call it a rumor. Thing is very, very fluid around boxing. It change all the time. Change Wednesday. It can change to not never. But Tuesday, he is rumored to announce that he will be fighting Caleb Plant December 19th on Showtime pay-per-view. Um, right now, I'm not sure what the undercard going to look like. Obviously, they're starting to report that he's going to start his own promotional company. Um, and I do know that Ryan Garcia could be leaving Golden Boy very, very soon to join that promotional company. And, um, and basically, he's basically going to be working with Top Rank and PBC. Um... With his fighters, you know, from what I understand, he could take some of his fighters and fight at top rank, fight at PBC. Basically, he wants to do what Golden Boy did and did what Mayweather did after Golden Boy did it first. With Oscar being the first fighter to actually be a promoter. And that's what he want to do. He don't want to, you know, just be in the PBC sphere with TGB promotion, Mayweather promotions. He want to be a real and acting promotional company with every, you know, all the boxing TV networks and stuff of that nature. So don't be surprised if eventually he don't work out a deal to, you know, do fights on ESPN, do fights with Dana White on Fight Pass, do fights with ESPN. Obviously, we know that the zone might be hitting some financial crisis and some problems, and they might be pulling out the U.S. They may not, um, and that's just going to open things up. Dana White starting um, was up for boxing, Clarissa Shields taking on Old Girl from Canada for, you know, super welterweight undisputed fight. That's going to be sometime in, what, November, December in Vegas? I can't remember exactly what I reported a day ago. But I think it's going to be like November 29th, December something. So Dana White jump into boxing. So if the zone do pull out the United States, Dana White replaces them. And maybe HBO come back. You hear little inklings they could or they could not come back. We hear from time to time. But from what I understand, Caleb Plant is, is going to oblige him and fight him December 19th. A lot of people don't believe it. A lot of people saying, oh, Canelo never take that risk. He should take a soft touch. He probably going to fight Uterman. But apparently people say, oh, that's a quick turnaround. That's about six or seven weeks away, five weeks away. But apparently, this has been in works for, the, for a while. So apparently, Caleb Plant been aware that he may get the Canelo fight or get not get the Canelo fight. So you got to understand with Jamal Charlo, uh, Duncan Canelo, with, you know, Caleb Plant, Duncan Canelo in February. And remember, I started hearing that, you know, Canelo could come to PBC, um, potentially, or cross over to Eddie Hearn to leave Golden Boy before the zone issue started. I heard that right around the time Tyson Fury was fighting Otto Wileen. So that's almost, that's over a year ago, okay? Um, and you hear those, you heard those rumors. And I've been saying that he could leave. So apparently Caleb Plant didn't have enough heads up to know he possibly could be fighting sometime in December. He going to fight Canelo Alvarez. Not sure how much money he going to get for the fight. But I do understand that Canelo is expected to guesstimate to make around $40 million versus Canelo. A lot of people told me anywhere from 40 to 50 million. I don't know if this is because with a promotional cut, but what he expected to make is more than what he made on his own. Now, I heard that he made $85 million on his own, not including the Rocky Fielding fight. So Danny Jacobs, Kovalev, it was three fights he fought over there. Danny Jacobs, Kovalev, I think it was the two. I mean, he fought Rocky Fielding. Danny, I think he fought three fights and all he made $85 million over there. I can't remember. I know it was Danny Jacobs, Kovalev, maybe with Rocky Field, and that's what he made. I don't know. Um, but um, that's what he made. So at the end of the day, um, Caleb Plant expected to step up to the to the plate. The fight is supposed to be announced Tuesday, rumored that can't change. He, Canelo is supposed to be starting his own promotional company. He been had one. If you notice, the majority of his fighters that's in the promotional company, they were working with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom and not working with De La Hoya. That's how you know, like some the, the relationship with him and Canelo, or Canelo and Oscar De La Hoya, really soured over the years. So, so yeah, that's the really the lowdown, you know, for the part. If you hang around, get some more uh, lowdown for that. For that, and I'm not sure how much Caleb Plant gonna be getting, but it might be in the neighborhood of ten million dollars, eight million dollars. Um, his opponent list, like I said before, is C Caleb number one, Uterman, uh, Callum Smith, and Eubanks are all guys that could get the fight. 
it was rumored that him and his own would have reconciled and made a fight with, Ka with Callum Smith December 19th. But that didn't happen. So Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith more than likely will fight next if some miracle Callum Smith don't get the Canelo fight December 19th. So um, Kayla Plant, um, Canelo, I heard that could be going down at the Alamo Dome or in Arlington. And, you know, Irv, I was talking to Irv about it. I was tweeting about DMing, DMing back and forth. He said, I don't see that happening in Texas where Earl Spence is going to be there in December. But the thing is, Earl Spence is a footnote to Canelo in Texas. So that can take money away from Earl Spence fight. If a lot of people say, you know what? I'd rather go to the Canelo fight than the Spence fight. That can affect Spence's ticket sales. You know, especially, you know, with all the Mexicans probably come up from Mexico to, to Texas. So, yeah, he probably do well, you know, especially versus Caleb Plant. I'm considering going. I wish I wish I could go, you know, right around Christmas. I got some things that I got to handle. But if I could go and turn around and fly there real quick and come back, I, I would consider. I kind of really want this COVID thing to be over before I start traveling through the air. But, but yeah, those are two places that he posed to be fighting because the, because the venues allow fans. Um, I thought Devin Haney was going to have fans with uh, Gamboa, but they opted not to go with the fans. So, um, you know, that's the situation. And, you know, Caleb Plant. Can you win the fight? Absolutely. You know, slick fighter. I just don't think he aggressive enough to win a fight. I can see a situation where, you know, he can be in there in a situation like uh, Lara or he could be in a situation like Austin Trout, you know, and just not aggressive enough. But it must be enough money and enough heads up for Caleb Plant. He must have knew him since. He probably knew he can get that fight probably since October. October, maybe even September. He knew this was a possibility for a long time and you know, what I understand is in May, Canelo Kid turned around and also fight fight Gennady Golovkin as well, too. So, um, you know, people saying, oh, Golovkin not going to leave his own. But apparently, you know, they may let him leave and go fight Canelo. So you hear some rumors that he could fight Canelo, uh, Golovkin, Canelo, Canelo could fight Golovkin Cinco de Mayo in May. And also in 2021, they're expecting him to fight Jamal Charlo as well, too. So I don't know if Jamal Charlo can jump up and fight Uterman or David Benavidez and Uterman fight. Hopefully on the undercard of Canelo for the WBC belt, then uh, Uterman and the uh, Alvin Uterman and the uh, Benavidez winner can fight Charlo if Canelo can get another fight uh, in May. Hopefully against Golovkin, then he could turn around and fight Jamal Charlo, Benavidez winner in September. Or you might just get a situation where Canelo, you know, beat Caleb Plant. Probably gonna happen. Turn around, uh, probably take a maybe unify with Callum Smith in May. If not, Golovkin then come back late Cinco de Mayo or late Mexican Independence Day weekend to fight uh, Jamal Charlo. But I do understand that the Golovkin fight is still on the table. It, you know, that's something they talked about. But who knows? Canelo probably not gonna fight, especially leaving the zone. Maybe the zone don't let PBC make that money. So maybe you see, maybe Eubanks in May, maybe Uterman. In, well, I doubt Uterman if he fighting Benavidez for the belt anytime soon. If um, uh, Eubanks, Callum Smith, maybe in, in, in May, maybe Triple G in May. So you hear a lot of things, but right now, Canelo stand, stand to make 40 million fighting Caleb Plant. That's the guesstimation um, with fans in attendance, either uh, Cowboy Stadium, Jerry World, AT&T Stadium in Arlington, or he's going to fight in the Alamo Dome. So I wonder how much Caleb Plant going to make. I asked him about that. It must be around 8 to $10 million uh, he's going to probably make for this fight. Basically, a lot of people probably look at it as, he probably gonna hand this title to Canelo. Who knows? I just don't. I think he got the power to do well from versus Canelo. I just don't think he got enough aggressiveness. I mean, he might cannot point Canelo, you know, but he ain't gonna get the decision, especially in Texas. So, Caleb Plant, it must be enough money for him basically to go get robbed for his IBF belt. You know, obviously, you know, we all would prefer him to fight David Benavidez, but that was supposed to happen this year. But late last year, David Benavidez was pricing himself out. They wanted to build the fight up. So you might get a situation where you may never get Benavidez and Plant at all. Canelo might fight Plant and eventually fight Benavidez, eventually fight Jamal Charlo. But I do know he's slated to fight Jamal Charlo sometime next year if everything goes as planned. So, you know, Canelo, I'd rather see Benavidez and Plant fight, but Canelo probably going to get Plant. And who knows if Plant could pull it off? Pretty sure Canelo got a rematch clause. Him not even being the champion, but if Plant can pull it off, probably turn around and fight Benavidez and hopefully Benavidez get his WBC title away. From um, um, what's up, boy name? From a year to man, he get it back and then they could do it. But it's just little rumors I'm hearing now. Let me know what you guys think about them. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video question, or you want to advertise on the channel. Hit me up, Twitter's the fastest way, then Facebook, then Instagram. We got a Facebook group, all those links in the description. I uh, want to make a donation, best way to donate is share the video, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check out the backup channel, Goodfella Sports TV 2.0. Um, I'm doing all the live streams over there because right now, can't go live over here. But other than that, you want to make a financial donation, Cash App, CJ Good 313 appreciate those. PayPal link in the description. Check me out. Appreciate the love and support. All my information there. Appreciate it. One time for the one time we gone. All right. Some may not know, but we got blocked from going live because we had some of the fight playing in the background this past Saturday on the tank in uh, Leo Santa Cruz Carter. It was or is it either the or New York fight on ESPN Plus. But um, it was a mistake. But now we can't go live until something change. Uh, let something change until January 29th, basically February. So I want you guys to follow me on Sportscasters, S P O R T S C A S T R, and I'll put the link in. The, well, I put the link in the description. That'll be the first link, or you can follow me on Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0, um, and I'll be doing my live streams both there at the same time. So any live football, basketball, you know, anything in between that, make sure you ch check out Sportscaster for your boy. Check it out. Um, I'll put that little uh, thumbnail or the little thing on the screen, but the link will be in the description. They monetize from day one. It's a YouTube alternative, so I will be there permanently. So I might be going live there and YouTube if I get my channel back or my live stream back at the same time. Appreciate everybody, but Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0, link in the description, and Sportcaster, link in the description. If you want to press the link, it is on sportscaster.com. It's just Goodfellas Sports. One word. Appreciate it. We gone.